Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. Almost Happy New Year. <laughs> uh, welcome to the uh, <laughs> welcome to our uh, Christmas to New Year's kind of shortened week for Option Pit, but this is our Vol report, so we'll skip all that part. Um, uh, checking out Mark's blog on Monday. You know, just well, what do we've got, right? Again. Uh, blog, check out uh, our store for courses. There's a my courses, but there's our store where you can actually start buying classes on uh, on trading. Yeah, right from our store. Just click on stuff. Okay. With that, let's just look at a couple things here. Um, first off, you're like, oh, the VIX is up two dollars. Well, that's twofold. One is the SPY opened down a little this morning, but also we had the three-day holiday pop back. The weekend effect is kind of back in the swing. Since the open right now, it doesn't look like volatility is doing very much from the open. That doesn't mean it can't change, but as of right now, just not doing a whole lot. Um, the big question is, is whether... Uh, and SPY, it's, it was, it was a, we were off a little bit lower. Um, you know, the, I guess the Santa Claus rally that we all wanted, we kind of got it, but we kind of didn't get it. Um, let's just pull up our last pro here. All right. You know, we kind of got it. Uh, after, you know, four years of pretty solid rally, um, the market's having a hard time kind of cranking out one more year. That's what it looks like. Uh, Early January, where we traded right around here. That's the 29th to it. You know, we're we're struggling to get even for the year. Although with dividends, you made some money owning the spy. If you bought into panic, you did very well. Um, this will be the second year in a row, though. We've had that kind of, uh, we'll just call it the 10% drop from the top. Uh, we had one in 2013. We had one now in 20, uh, sorry, 2014, and now in 2015. Um, and as I look around, I think, can those, can those things happen again? Uh, are we going to see more of them? I think what we are going to see and just some themes for 2016 is, uh, some of the lows I think we saw in VIX are going to be tougher. Generally you only see a 10 VIX when you know, there's kind of the all clear deck, all clear signal blown. We've had the fed for a few years. Um, early in the decade, earlier in the 2000s, let's say 2004, 2005, 6, you had recovery from recession from the the tech meltdown. Obviously, in 1990, you know, in the 90s, we also had some years of extended lower volatility uh, when things were very clear. I think part of the problem with economic policy right now is just things are going to be more opaque. You know, the Fed is going to raise apparently up to you know, some sort of normal rates at some point. Um, and uh, probably showing a, willing, a less of a willingness to get back down. So I think the snap pops in volatility, we're probably going to see more of that. Uh, so for us, for trade into this year, uh, while mostly like in our strategy letter stuff, we're mostly just closing down and unwinding into the new year. Uh, Start to look for more of, I think, some of the plays where you want the black swan, you want the sudden pop in volatility. I think those things are going to start, we're going to start seeing those a little bit more because of the Fed kind of getting out. Another uh, big question looming is uh, the energy sector overall, oil. You can't, oil is having a hard time getting out of the basement. All of the things that made oil volatile and contributed to oil being volatile, none of that has really gone away. Uh, OPEC saying they're really not going to do anything about production for another, what, four years? That kind of gave us a temporary pop, and then that went away. So right now, they're still pumping too much oil. Uh, and and I have to admit, it would not surprise me to see oil go lower and have that kind of destabilize uh, the high yield bond markets, and that contributes more again to volatility. So lows for volatility for us, <clears throat> I think it will be hard for VIX 
to go through 14 and break through 14 and stay there in the month of January. Could, but I think it's going to be tougher, especially with oil doing what it's doing. Um, the next thing we'll look at is stuff like this, where this market has not recovered. Okay. Um, normally, we're kind of used to seeing sort of these V-shaped bounces, you know, uh, panic bounce, panic bounce, e panic a little bounce, but kind of sort of falling away. So that, I think, uh, for lingering questions are going to be kind of the drivers. The leaders will probably still be technology, although the, the rally in that is starting feeling like it's getting a little bit tired. Uh, notice Google is closing the year near its all-time, near, very near its all-time highs. There we go. So I think part of the theme for me this year is going to be more embedded trades, like more cheap out-of-the-money time spreads when volatility has temporary dips. Uh, anytime you see stocks, uh, even let's say commodity stocks, oil stocks making them run, when the situation really hasn't changed and they've been due for pullbacks. So trades where you're, not spending a lot of dollars in the outlay, but looking for, you know, for segments of the markets to pull back. Technology, as long as it keeps growing and the internet keeps growing, it still looks like the leader. It's finance, now that interest rates are starting to stabilize and move up, probably going to do a little better. Uh, but the temporary problems of energy and how all that is financed into the future is probably going to deliver, uh, deliver the shocks. And I think that's and I think that's what we've got. So as far as VIX goes, VIX right now is priced for really large moves relative to the market. And we're just we're down about a half a half a point. I think there's a lot of disappointment and there's no rally, no real rally, uh, no rally at least back to let's say 2100 in the spy, just some of those mentally uh, good levels or the SPX, and we're not there. The VIX to actually hold 17.5% uh, real volatility at the money. Um, just take a look right here. You know, tr trades that might start looking interesting, we'll take a look today a little bit, like, you know, butterflies, things like that near the money, where it's hard for the market really to rally, but it's also hard for volatility to keep rallying unless something of substance happens. Because we're pricing 1% per day, and that's not nothing at the money at this point. So it feels like the mark stocks are ready for the next shoe to drop. It just hasn't happened yet. So uh, with that, uh, I will see some of us. We'll have a little bit of chat this morning. Uh, we're looking at a quiet week, planning for a quiet week. Not a lot on, but that's what we got. And with that, I will see all of you in a little bit.